With the release of the Galaxy S4 Google Edition and the HTC One Google Edition, uh, Google released a new camera app for stock 4.2 Android. And uh, I'm just going to show it to you today and how to install it. So first thing you're going to want to do is install the APK. Um, I'll put the link for, link for the download below. Um, so as you can see here, I'm going into my file browser and uh, I'm about to install it. It's called com.google.android.gallery3d. Uh, so we're just going to click on installing it here and we'll install it and um, as you can about to see it replaces the default gallery and indeed obviously if you're new Android the camera app is part of the gallery. Uh, so we'll just install it here and you'll notice a few sort of changes once it loads. Uh, some people have been having trouble here where it's not installing. Um, in this case I'll show you what to do later on in the video. Um, but as you can see for me it installed fine. Um, so we'll just go back here and we'll, uh, I'll hop into the new camera app and show you guys the new features. So as you can see it looks slightly different already, uh, if you hold on to the screen we have the quick settings pa panel even, if you remember before it was a circle it now seems to be a half circle. Uh, so I'm just going to hop into it here from the lock screen and turn rotation off. Um, so as you can see we can hop into it straight away again. Uh, above the camera button is obviously the how to get to the settings and below is the default for photo spare camera, um, still camera, video etc. So as you can see here, it's slightly different, it's now a half circle, and there we just simply hold our finger on and we can swipe up and whatnot to get to these settings, a bit like before with the full circle, but it's now only half a circle, uh, and indeed you can actually see what you're doing, whereas before you couldn't. Uh, you can also enter a couple of different ways, uh, you can tap on, as you can see, the settings in the top right hand corner, and uh, you don't have to actually swipe with your finger like I'm doing here, you can actually just simply tap on... Uh, on the uh, on the actual settings or indeed whatever you want, uh, things are still there like the same before. E.g., exposure, HDR mode, auto flash camera, um, and indeed picture resolution size. Uh, swiping right also brings you to your pictures depending on your orientation of the device. So as you can see here, picture sizes vary, uh, obviously depending on what resolution your camera is. Um, but very much the settings are still there like before, and the autofocus still works the same. The speed is still there. It's just we've had a couple of user interface design changes, um, as you can see here. So like I said, you can install the APK if you're having problems before. You can basically 